Hey there, my name is Jasmine Skye, and I'm here today with the start of another writing vlog. This is the third in my series of writing vlogs about my new YA novel, my alchemy YA. So if you have not yet watched the first two vlogs in this series, I will link them down below and put them up in the cards. Um, but to sum up, I'm writing a new fantasy YA. Uh, it's a historical fantasy and it's a magical murder mystery and it's like a science fantasy alchemy situation and there's a sapphic rivals to lovers romance and it's just good stuff. It's good stuff. And the last two vlogs were the process of me basically writing a proposal and my outline and my first chapter and getting it all good to go. I had to go through a couple different versions of this, uh, this story to get, get going in the right direction, um, but we are all set now. It is Wednesday the 7th, and I know I said at the end of my last vlog that I would um, start writing on Monday, but it's been a busy week. Just a, just a busy week. It is not, it's been a lot. So we're here on Wednesday and um, I know that I'm ready to get back into it despite all the stops and starts because last night as I was going to bed, I had so many ideas running through my head about this book and I had to like wake myself up and write them in the notes app on my phone so that I wouldn't forget them and I'm just very excited. I feel like the voices of all the various characters are starting to come together and I have a good idea of, of the plot and what I want to do with that and just everything. I think it's I think it's gonna go well. I hope it's gonna go well. Sometimes I say that and then I actually try to draft and then it's like doesn't go but overall I'm I'm really excited and I really feel like this new version, this new chapter one, the new outline, like what I talked about with my agent, all of that is the right direction. It feels very YA um, in a good way. It feels, it feels like a really good standalone young adult magical historical adventure. So um, that's that's what it is and I, I hope I hope I can pull it off. Um, my goal for this first draft is between 80 and 85,000 words. My deadline is the end of May. This vlog number three is going to be pretty much the rest of April. At the very least, minimum, we need to make it to the end of Act 1. Um, though it would be great if we could get further. It's um after dinner and I just started um, watching Demon Slayer with dinner tonight and all I really want to do is watch more Demon Slayer but I gotta force myself to write. Also Thor wanted out so Thor is hanging out with me right now but I gotta put him back before I can do any writing. Maybe I'll watch one more episode of Demon Slayer while Thor is hanging out with me, and then I will force myself to write. <laughs> Hello. It's uh, Thursday now, the 8th, and watching one more episode of Demon Slayer yesterday was a mistake because then I ended up marathoning like five episodes, <laughs> and I only wrote like a sentence. But we're back here again at 8 p.m. the next day. Work has been really kicking my butt, so my ability to write in the mornings and at lunch this week have just, oof, been hard. And then after work, I have just not, I have not wanted to do anything. <sighs> Case in point, I'm ready to try to be at least a little productive. I'm Skyping with one of my best friends over lunch tomorrow and uh, she has been instructed to yell at me if I hadn't made progress by then. So I gotta do something tonight. I gotta get at least like halfway through chapter two so I can 
tell her that I was at least a little bit productive. I told her that I wanted to try to be done with chapter two by lunch on Friday, but that did not happen at all. So at least we're gonna try to get like halfway through chapter two. That's, that's, that's the plan. So 1500 words is the goal for tonight, um, which is also my daily goal according to my dabble calculations of how much I need to write a day now um, in order to finish on my deadline, which is the end of May. So I gotta get to it. I gotta stop letting myself be lazy and exhausted and like, if I wanna get this book drafted, I need to find the time to draft the book. It's just after 10 and um, that was pretty productive. It was a bit of a slow start. Uh, but once I got going, it felt really good. I did end up going back to chapter one because I had an idea as I was writing the beginning of chapter two of what I was missing in chapter one that I needed to add, um, which is good uh, because my chapter one previously was a little shorter than I wanted it to be. I want my chapters in this book to be between 3,000 to 3,500 words. Um, and it was uh, just under 3,000 previously, but now my chapter one is 3,288 words, so that's good. And I also wrote 1,280 words of chapter two. So it's a little under halfway, but it feels really good. My word count for tonight is 1,637, and my total manuscript word count now is 4,643. So that's exciting. Oh, I do not feel good. I don't know what is up with my body today, but I am struggling. I think I pulled a muscle in my hip and I took a nap this afternoon. It ended up being like almost three hours. And I don't like that that was a mistake because now I feel like my whole sleep, like my brain doesn't know what to do because my whole schedule and rhythm is, is thrown off and my stomach is upset with me. Like we're just, are you okay? We're just struggling right now. Um, I was able to film a video this morning, so I can't say I haven't been productive at all today. But that's all I've done. It's now 5.10, 5.11. I, I want to write. I didn't write yesterday. Please ignore the dog. Or don't ignore him and look at him. Is that right? <coughs> Are you just in a mood? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I, oh, I know. I love you. I love you. Um, okay. My dog's in a mood. I'm gonna try to finish chapter two today. <laughs> we're at 1,280 words of chapter two. If we're aiming for 3,000, which is what we're aiming for, then I need 1720 words and since I need about 1500 words a day to finish on my deadline that's a good plan 1700 words so um let's see if I can fix my brain and do it it's a lot later it's a 9 p.m. um I managed to eat some dinner. That's good. Um, and I uh, had a lot of thoughts about this. I hope I wake up tomorrow not having my body screaming at me like it is today. But anyway, I did manage to get some writing done um, just now. I kind of cannibalized 
parts of the previous chapter one for this chapter, so that really helped. Um, it's, it's very scattered. I have like three separate sort of sections, um, and I definitely am gonna need to pull them together and maybe um, do a little bit of sort of editing to make them fit together, but it's the three things that I like the flow. It, it has the flow of the rest of this chapter. Um, so that's good. And it was 799 words. So basically 800 words. Not as much as I wanted to get done, but considering how awful I feel, at least it was something. It was a little over half of what my daily word count needs to be. Um, so it'll be easier to catch up. With that, um, definitely tomorrow morning, I'm going to finish chapter two, put it all together. The whole chapter word counts at 2000 now. So in the kind of weaving it together, I just need to add like a thousand words. Um, and I think that's very doable. And then um, we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. I'll either just do that and call this weekend, you know, not a total wash, but I'll have to catch up later. Or if I'm feeling really good tomorrow, I'll do that and then also push on to chapter three. Hello and good morning. I just re-dyed my hair, but it's still drying, so it's hard to see. But definitely it's a bit redder. Um, that's the problem with red hair is that it fades pretty fast. It's been like, I think like five weeks since I dyed it last, so I... I it's been a bit. Anyway, um, it is 10.18 on Sunday, the 11th, and I need to go over to my parents' house in an hour, but I'm going to finish chapter two before I do that. That was pretty good. In the last hour, I wrote just under a thousand words. I wrote 981 words. So that was pretty successful. And I did finish this chapter. I'm a little, like I'm not quite sure that I like the way I ended it. It's what I need to happen in terms of the plot, but just like the prose itself. I'm not convinced that it's how I want it to be. But this is the first draft, so I'm gonna give myself grace. It's okay, it's fine. Let it go, Jasmine. Um, but the chapter is 3,060 words, so, you know, on the lower end, but still within the range that I want my chapters to be, 3,000 to 3,500. Um, so that's good, and now I can push on to chapter three, I think tomorrow, because I'm gonna go over to my parents' place and we have like a big board game day planned um, and then I'll probably be pretty tired when I get back home tonight. So um, even though it wasn't the most successful day ever, I didn't get my 1500 words that you know I wanna be trying to get, it was still something. <laughs> that's, that's what counts. Hello there. I have a dog, if you didn't know. His name is Ninja, <laughs> and he's a good boy. Aren't you a good boy? You are a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. Um, yes, you, yes, you, you're the goodest boy. Oh. It's after work on Monday, April 12th, and I just went through my first, oh my gosh, I am sleepy. I am going through my first act. My motivation remains low. I was like, maybe, maybe it is a problem with the first act. Maybe there's like not enough fun stuff or I can't picture it. I don't know. It's not that. It's just me being lazy and also just like, everything else going on. It's just not, um, it's just hard to draft right now, but we'll figure out how to push through. Anyway, I did go through my first draft though, um, because what I did at the end of chapter two, I realized according to the quick outline that I put together, 
was more like it kind of messed up a little bit of of what I had going on um, so I ended up actually condensing and deleting a chapter out of the first act so now my first act is only eight chapters instead of nine chapters so my total chapter count is 26 I think that's fine I don't want my first act to drag on um, especially because my break into act two is gonna be very strong I think um, so anyway that is gonna adjust my total I had upped my total goal um, on the like word count tracker to 85,000 but I'm gonna bump it back down to um, 82,000 since I cut a chapter um, so that's good I guess um, didn't actually do any real work <laughs> so um, I have one sentence written of chapter three. It's a good first sentence for chapter three. So that's good. Um, but I, I have to like actually write the first half of chapter three today. Hello, it's Tuesday morning, April 13th. And I um, have decided because yesterday I just, it just was not gonna happen. It was not gonna happen. Work is so busy. This season is just ramping up to my busiest time of year with my job, which is summer. And there's so much going on and it's stressful and just like, I like my job a lot, but there's just a lot. And it's not, it's not an easy time to also try first drafting something, which as I mentioned is, is not my favorite part of crafting a novel. I woke up quite early today. I woke up at like 7.20 um, and I've had breakfast and now it's time for me to get going. We'll see how much I can do this morning. I went back and reread chapter two um, and I added 172 words to it. So that was good. I kind of cleaned up the ending. I know I said that I wasn't super happy with the ending previously, but it's I cleaned it up. I like it a lot more now. Um, and then the other thing that I did um, is I went to um, my just like total book outline, my new outline, and I kind of reread it all. And it just definitely gave me like that spark back that I was missing um, because I do, I do love this story. Like I love the way the plot weaves together with the mystery and the school elements and the magic and like the rivals to lovers romance and all of that. I'm super excited actually. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really into it. And it's really fun to write a standalone. I haven't written a standalone in a while. And it's, it's nice to like have all of the elements, everything be in this one book and all lead up to the big climax that is just this one book. Um, and it's, you know, it's a little bit different because it's um, climactically a little, little quieter than a lot of my stuff. A lot of my fantasies are like big kind of world ending stuff. And this is, you know, more personal, but I'm just into it. So my energy is back and we're gonna do this thing. Well, I got to get to work now, um, but I, I did pretty well this morning. I wrote 1,332 words um, and I finished the first scene of chapter three. So that's good. I definitely think I can finish chapter three tomorrow morning. Hello everyone. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's April 20th now and um i have not written since the last clip which i don't even remember <laughs> don't even remember what it was <laughs> oh my goodness um yeah so we're still halfway through chapter three but there was a lot of stuff that went down this weekend a lot of conversations that i needed to have just a lot there's just a lot going on and uh i ended up realizing 
amidst all of the stress of everything going on um, that I was being unfair to myself with the deadline I had set that Mary and I had come up with together, which was the end of May, just because this is my worst time of year. It's both, it's not my worst time of year in, in the sense that like it's bad, it's just my busiest time of year for my job. And it was stressful. It was stressful to try to keep up a constant schedule of writing. It just wasn't working. I need to give myself grace. So um, basically, after talking it out, I have removed my deadline. Still want to get this book done sometime this summer. And in my mind, I basically like mid-May through August is summer in my mind. I know technically summer doesn't start till the end of June, but I think we all consider June to be summer. So anyway, I hope to get this book done sometime in June. Um, is my tentative goal, but I don't even want to give myself a deadline of that because if it takes me till July or even till August, I need to give myself grace because this is just a hard time of year for me at my job with the amount of stuff I have going on and it's worse when I stress myself out. So um, I don't actually think I'm going to write today. I just wanted to update y'all while I was thinking about it because I've been thinking about it and um, I looked over, you know, what I had for chapter three today, and I think taking the break that I took, as much of a break as it was, which it wasn't, um, was good for sort of like getting my, my motivation back and all of that. Um, so I think we're good. I think I just need to do better about not stressing over this draft. Like, there's no rush, Jasmine. It's gonna be fine. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to write tomorrow morning because as said previously, I'm better at writing in the mornings. Uh, and if I can try to finish chapter three tomorrow morning, like that would be nice. But if it doesn't happen because I wake up and it's not a good morning or stuff starts coming in from work, like the minute I wake up that I need to deal with, it happens and that's fine. I wrote 200 words this morning, 202 words to be exact. Um, but as has been the case with many a morning, I had a bunch of high priority emails come through like as I was sitting down. So that's all I got done this morning. And I'm, I'm letting myself be okay with it. Like I wanna not be okay with it. Part of me is just, just like always a little sad, but I'm letting myself be okay with it. I can finish chapter three, hopefully tomorrow morning. Hello there. It's uh, Saturday the 24th and I had a writing session this morning with one of my friends and I did okay. I wrote mm, just under 800 words. I wrote 791 words. I definitely struggled at the beginning um, with getting back into it because it's been so long since I've been able to write, but I pushed through and I am almost at the end of chapter three now. I have like 500 words to go, maybe like a thousand words to go. It'd be nice if this chapter ended up being another thousand words because then I would hit 10k which is uh, a goal that has been out of reach that should not have taken this long to get to but we'll get there we will get there so i'm gonna write again tomorrow morning um and that's the plan is to write a thousand words and get to 10k it is sunday the 25th and i just finally finished chapter three, which is very exciting. It took me way too long to get through rewriting multiple times these first three chapters, but I'm finally 
farther in this book now than I have ever been before. I have passed the 10,000 mark. I'm at 10,254 words. So hooray. Very exciting. Um, I did end up adding another chapter back in my outline because if you remember I took one out um, in the first act because I, I didn't have anything exciting to go in it, but I just figured out another subplot to add, which is very good, very exciting, and it really wraps in with the main plot. Um, it's just, it's gonna help several things going on in the book um, to have it, and uh, that subplot basically the start of it needs its own chapter. So that is going to be chapter four, but it's going to be a really exciting kind of high action chapter, um, which is great because in general, I think I've talked about this before, this book is a relatively low action book. Um, and I think it's important for us to see some alchemy in action uh, early on in this book before we like build up towards the climax and, and all of that. We need to at least get some hint of it earlier in the book as well and how alchemy can be used in action because that's gonna come up again. Point being, this subplot helps that, that issue out a lot along with some other things uh, and I have added a, that chapter back in. So now we're back at 27 total chapters. Unless I end up cutting another one later or adding another one later, we will see. Um, but chapter four is going to be fun and exciting and uh, I'm excited to write it. Hopefully my next vlog, I will finally be able to push through and finish act one. But this is where I'm going to end this vlog on something of a high note, finally hit 10K. So, you know, it's, it's a decent milestone and we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I feel like these last several vlogs have been a hot mess, uh, but hopefully it will all smooth out going forward and that'll be great. So um, as always, please check out my description. There are links to causes that need your support. I would really, really appreciate you checking those out. You can always support my channel by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, etc. And as always, I look forward to chatting with y'all in the comments.